Hi, Michael from Doing Life Together. So good to be with you again this week. One of the fundamental principles that underpins all the work that we do, whether it be working in a classroom, in an organisation, leading a team, on a level of whole community change, is the idea or the principle of how do we, how do you see other human beings? By that I mean when you meet someone for the first time, or even if it's someone you see all the time, what thoughts go through your mind? What do you notice? What do you observe? What do you see in and around the other person? You see, those thoughts, those ideas, they then drive our behavior towards another person. They drive our decisions, the way we interact, the way we communicate, the way we show value and worth. Most of us as human beings have a couple of what we like to call default settings. And one of those is that we like to look at people through what we call a broken window. And that is, if you think for a second, um, when you look through a broken window, you see all the things that are wrong with that window. You see the brokenness, you see the things that need to be fixed, put back together, the things that aren't gelling, that aren't working, the things that we may not be able to work out or feel comfortable having a conversation about. When we see people through a broken window, we often respond to them or, or support them in a way that wants to fix, wants to solve, or wants to avoid. Think about this in your context, whether it be a classroom, an organisation, a community. How does this play out for you? How does this play out for the people around you? As a little exercise this week, head down to your local supermarket, local shopping centre or public space. And just wander around for a half hour or so and, and look at people through that broken lens and ask yourself, what do I see? What do I notice? What thoughts are going through my mind? What, what's, what impact is this having on me as a human being? The other way we tend to look at people is through what we call the eyes of compassion. So if you were to make a heart with your hands and hold this up towards another human being, and see them through a lens that says, Do you know what, you have ultimate value and worth and purpose simply because you're alive, simply because you're here. And my role is to serve you, to do whatever I can to help you reach your potential. That changes the conversation. If we look at a child in a classroom through a broken window, we think we've got a naughty child. We think we've got bad behaviours, things that have to be solved. They're not doing the right job, the right learning. We look at them through the lens of compassion, the eyes of compassion, all of a sudden we see their potential, we see what's possible and we want to grow and develop that. If we're leading a team, when we look through the eyes of a broken window, we start to realise and notice deficiencies or things our team members aren't doing so well or they're not kind of getting or doing as we would like. When we start to see through the eyes of compassion, our team members don't just become about the role they play for us every day, but they come about how do we develop, how do we grow them as human beings, which is far more important. When we look at a whole community, when we look through a broken window, we see all the challenges, all the trials, and, and don't get us wrong, there's no shortage of them. But when we look through eyes of compassion, we see the potential in the story to renew, to do something different, to, to offer something that's incredible to the rest of the world. These two ways of seeing people are so important. So this week, during that little exercise, don't just look through the eyes of a broken window, but once you've done that, switch gears and walk for a half hour or so through the same space and just aim to see every single person through eyes of compassion and see what difference it makes. It's been great to spend time with you and we look forward to building on this next week. Have a great week.